Ken Russell's Mahler is my favorite biopic. Saying the name Ken Russell should give you something of an idea of what you're in for, though I find that many of the liberties taken with the life of the great composer only help to provide a sketch of the man. Though unconventional in its placement of events, Mahler's life is laid out for him and confronts him while on a train journey. It's a great privilege to meet someone who knows what it's all about. The music of the spheres, you mean? No, I mean death. It helps in realizing that overall impression of him. At many points in the film, he makes decisions which can seem harsh, but because of the music, because of where Russell's visions take us, we are able to at least understand why he makes those choices. It isn't asking us to like him per se, but it presents Mahler as a man, with what he believed in, take him or leave him. Yet his music is what drives the film, why it exists even. You know it's going to be a good movie when it opens right off the bat with a blazing house and the cries of Mahler's tenth. There is no shortage of musical fantasias here, compressing and elaborating on themes from Mahler's life. Only a couple times are we given Russell's unbridled campery, but when you're swept up in the music, it's hard to refuse. Though one should know how to separate the art from the artist, for a film like this, the two are inseparable.